The Gold Coast Suns have sacked coach Stuart Jew after another below par AFL season. For more on this breaking story across to our reporter Josh Bristow on the Gold Coast. So Josh, five and a half seasons, Stuart Jew was, well, what hasn't been a shocking season, but treading water. This was supposed to be the year when they had, you know, these players getting older and more mature, the midfield getting older, and they were supposed to be pushing for finals. They're not, and he's gone immediately. What's the club had to say so far? Yeah, well, you put it there pretty succinctly. Uh, another season gone. I know they're not completely out of the finals race, but uh, you'd have to be a pretty hopeful Gold Coast Suns fan to think they can salvage anything from here. What is interesting, I think, is that the club so heavily came out only four or five days ago against reports that Stuart Jew's days were numbered. Uh, CEO Mark Evans essentially got up in front of the camera and said that his job was safe. Now, what changed over the last four days? They got pumped by Port Adelaide, yes, but I think everyone thought they were going to get pumped by Port Adelaide. And it's taken even the players by shock. Uh, we caught a couple of players walking into the building just before. Have a listen to their reaction. It's about that feeling about what he's done for us as a football club. And I also think, again, it's about him and his family. Um, it's obviously an emotional time for, for him um, and, and the club, and, and we understand that. And our, our thoughts are with him and also what he's done for this football club. It's a pretty big shock too. Is it going to affect the back end of the season for you guys? Yeah, look, um, same thing. It's, uh, that's probably not what I'm here to answer. I'm here to talk about Stewie and what he's done for the club. Uh, again, about his family. Um, we're thinking about him, trying to stay connected as much as we can. Um, and then also what he's done for us as a football club. So as you can see there, the results didn't come for Stewie Jew as head coach of the Suns, but he was clearly uh, well respected by the players. Uh, they only found out about nine o'clock this morning, just before the news broke. As you said, he was here for almost mm. six years, never made finals. The club has famously never made finals, and it looks like another season shipped away. Will they, as many reports have suggested, have uh, Richmond Premiership winning coach Damien Hardwick waiting in the wings. Well, they emphatically denied that only a couple of days ago. But uh, as we found out, uh, that press conference doesn't really mean anything uh, as we wake up yeah. this morning to this news. We'll bring you CEO Mark Evans. He's fronting the media in just a while, and we'll bring you that live when it happens. It would be madness not to pursue him. He's the, the only you know tried and true... Uh, tested coach sitting out there right now and he said he wants to come back to coaching. He's apparently refreshed after a few weeks out. In one sense you say, well, they've just played Collingwood and Port, first and second on the ladder, so they were always going to be zipping too. But maybe it was that thumping against Carlton four weeks ago, 10-goal loss when a win then would have put them into the eight that sealed Stuart Jew's fate. Yeah, there was that one, and there was also that Frio game. I know they were very disappointed about that. Uh, they've just been on the on the edge. It's been the same old story for the last couple of years. And uh, Stuart Jew, a great person. Everyone who has stuff to do with him, uh, you know, just uh, just uh, praises him. But it's a results-driven business, isn't it? But again, I think it's just uh, it's bizarre that the club came out so strongly in favour of him only a couple of days ago, to then turn around and. Uh, essentially, uh, you know, make him walk the plank today. Always a tough day, isn't it? We'll let you get away to cover that news conference. Josh Bristow with the latest there on the Gold Coast.